The United States government has welcomed the commendable progress made by the federal government of Somalia in weapons and stockpile management. Speaking at the Weapons and Ammunition Management Conference closing ceremony, U.S. Ambassador to Somalia Larry Andre said that the modification in the current resolution reflects that progress and recognize the work Somalia continues to achieve. Members representing the federal government of Somalia, federal member states, and the international community attended the conference. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud's administration has taken decisive steps to meet the sanctions regime benchmarks, and doing so produces benefits for Somalia while addressing the UN Security Council's criteria for lifting the sanctions regime, the ambassador added. The ambassador added that the conference would further the ambassador added that the conference would further partnership to bring Somalia's weapon and ammunition management practices to world class standards. This effort furthers the Somali people's collective commitment to peace and security. Last November, the United Nations Security Council voted to maintain an arms embargo on Somalia over strong objections from its government saying Al-Shabaab still seriously threatens peace and stability in the region and that sanctions are needed to degrade its activities. Under the recently elected President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, the government has been engaged in a new offensive against Al-Shabaab, including efforts to shut down its financial network.